It's TR from T-Man Performance once again. I wanted to kind of release uh, a video showing you guys some more of our new product for the M8s. One of the things that we have been working on also along with our scraper is our big bore cylinder kits. Now we do do these different than uh, some of the other uh, ones that are on the market and I kind of wanted to explain some of our uh, ways that we go about doing this. So what we do is we start with a cylinder that you supply us, either the existing cylinder that's on your bike or another set, an extra set that you may have. What we do is we sit this cylinder up on our CNC and then what we do is we come in here and we bore the existing liner completely out of your cylinder. Uh, and then we make a nice clean straight hole as you can see it's it's non-contaminated or anything like that a nice clean hole and then what we have done is we've had some uh, custom liners made this uh, liner material is a hundred thousand psi ductile iron this is the same uh, material that we make all of our pro stock cylinders out of that we've had very good success with over the years so after that is done the cylinder is heated and then the, uh, the liner is dropped into the cylinder. Now what makes ours a little different from everyone else's, if you'll notice, we have the notch here on our cylinders. And it's a little hard to see, but I'll show it to you right here. When that cylinder is dropped in, it's indexed. We have a front and rear, and you can see where you have the little flat right there. And what that does, it, that keeps the cylinder from moving at all in the, in the bore, it, for any chance that it might. So. The other feature in our cylinders that other cylinders do not have, this is your stock Harley cylinder right here. And as you can see, this bezel length is one inch 300 thousandths. What we've elected to do is to make our bezel longer, as you can see here, which will make it more stable. And then we do the cutout so that they don't hit one another. And then we also cut out for the piston jet oilers. The reason that we do that is on your stock cylinders, on the four and a half and on the four and three eight stroke, as you see right here, at bottom dead center, as you can see right here, the piston is coming out of the cylinder over 300 thousandths. And after a period of time, that will cause the piston to rock at the bottom. That's why we're seeing some of the stock cylinders with cracks on the bezel areas. And that's from the thrusting of the cylinders and the material. So what we have done is if you see here with our cylinders, when they come around to bottom dead cylinder, that piston never comes out of the bottom of the cylinder. It is supported the whole time. And also we've got a nice chamfer on the bottom of our cylinders, which makes the ring installation uh, very easy to install. Now, so as it is right now, we have available the four inch uh, 180 bore, which will make a 107 or 120, makes a 114 or 117 a 124 those are available now by the end of the month our four and a quarter inch bore pistons will be available which will make your 107 a 124 and your 114 or 117 a 127 those will be released uh, at the end of the month so uh, liners and everything are in-house the process is being done Please remember, you have to supply us a set of cylinders. So uh, if you have any questions, I will be putting up a uh, nice step-by-step uh, uh, -step way that we do these on the internet. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to call me or Brandon, or you can email us. Thank you very much for your time.